hello you lovely lot i'm still missing you a lot i am still missing you a lot and i'm hoping you're all keeping very safe and that you're having a great time at home with your families let's have a hug before we do anything else arms around big hug there we go that's better i feel complete now we've had our cuddles what have you all been doing since i last spoke to you have you been enjoying the sun it has been so nice and sunny it's a little bit colder today it's very hot in this playroom but the wind is blowing have you been enjoying nature in your gardens maybe have you been watching the birds have you been watching the flowers growing in your gardens i have my vegetables are not growing very well though how did your crest do did any of you grow any cress so i'll show you how the crest did in my house shall i not very well at all look at that there's still seeds i don't know what went wrong i watered them i gave them sunlight and they were warm i don't know sometimes they just don't grow but i think this happened with this pack of seeds last time so i think i need to throw this pack of seeds away because i don't think they're very good seeds i think i've got duff seeds and i need new ones I do hope if any of you grew cress, yours were much better than mine. I know Harvey, Beth and Finn have grown some lovely cress because they sent me a lovely photo. I'm going to read you The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I'm going to have some help from my friend. Okay, this is my friend. Got to see my friend, Mr Caterpillar. Mr Caterpillar, what's that in your mouth? He's a very hungry caterpillar. And he's eating cheese. It's not time for cheese yet. We've got the story to tell. Put your cheese down. Right, you need to wait down here, Mr Caterpillar, because we have a story to tell and it's not quite your time yet. Right. Let's go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the moon. And there's the egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. It was very sunny yesterday, wasn't it? That was a Sunday. And pop out of the egg crawled a teeny tiny caterpillar who was very, very hungry. There he is. And he looks an awful lot like, are you ready? This little caterpillar. I've got a little friend. Hello Caterpillar, are you very hungry? Yes, I am very hungry, yes. Would you like to eat some food? Yes. Right, we ready. Oh, so he started to look for food. There he is, crawling around looking for food. On Monday, he ate through, ready, his head's a bit big for this book. He ate through, oh, come on, caterpillar. One juicy apple. There he is. Yum, yum, yum. But he was still hungry. Oh. On Tuesday, he ate through, should we see what he ate through next? Who knows what's next in the book? You ready? Eight through. One, two, two nice ripe green pears. But he was still hungry. Come on, caterpillar, out you come. Pop. On Wednesday, he ate through. What comes after two? One, two, three plums. One, two, three plums. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. But he was still hungry. So on Thursday, he ate through. I'm not sure I'd still be hungry after all that food. But on Thursday, he was still hungry. So he ate through, you ready to count? One, 
two, three, four. Ooh, juicy strawberries. Four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. <sighs> so on Friday, he was getting bigger by this point. He was getting a bit bigger. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five juicy. <gasps> He's getting bigger. What's this? Oranges. But he was still hungry. Right. What are we going to feed him then? Should we see what it says in the book? Oh my goodness! Look at all this food. That's what he eats on Saturday. <gasps> so, on Saturday, he ate... Ready? One piece of chocolate cake. He ate one ice cream cone. He ate through one pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. There you go, you can eat cheese now. One slice of salami. Do you like salami? He likes a salami, look. One lollipop. I didn't have any lollipops, so we just have to pretend. One piece of pie. I didn't have any pie, so we just had to pre pretend. One sausage. I did have a sausage. One cupcake. One cupcake. Yum, 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 yum. And finally, one piece of watermelon. Juicy watermelon. Do you know what happened after that? That night, he had tummy ache. I'm not surprised. Have you got tummy ache? Yes. Oh, should have got a bit better. You poor caterpillar. You've eaten far too much stuff. Far too much stuff. Let's rub your tummy better. Oh, right, you feeling a bit better? Feeling a bit better? I think so. So, the next day was Sunday. And he ate through, this will help your tummy ache, he ate through one juicy green leaf. By now, he was not a tiny caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Mmm, he was a big fat caterpillar. There he is. My goodness, you've grown. He built himself a house called a cocoon. Now, where did I put his cocoon? He, he made it out of sort of a silky material like this and he wrapped himself up in his cocoon like this. And he stayed inside in his cocoon nice and tight and slept for more than two weeks inside his cocoon. Oh, there he is inside his cocoon. Have you seen cocoons? There are cocoons, sometimes you find them in, when you're doing gardening, when you're digging up in the garden, sometimes I've seen cocoons in the mud and sometimes you can see them hanging on branches. And sometimes they'll be like hanging on your back fences and then they wait for like two weeks and in two weeks they start to grow into something very exciting. Do you know what they turn into? Can you guess what a caterpillar will turn into when it's come out of his cocoon? So here he is all wrapped up in his cocoon. Shall we see? Shall we see? When he came out, he was not a caterpillar anymore. No, he was not. But he was a beautiful butterfly. Look, he had wings. Unfortunately, I don't have any very big wings. So he's had to borrow some fairy wings for this story. But look, he's got fairy wings, so he can fly. But quite often, butterflies have big, beautiful wings like this. So these are very colorful wings. Some of the butterflies 
that I sometimes see in my garden. They're in my book. Can you see? These beautiful butterflies. They have wings that are symmetrical. Symmetrical means they are the same on both sides. So if you were to put a mirror down the, mir down the middle of the butterfly, you would see exactly what you see here because they are symmetrical. So let me show you some of the butterflies. So, oh, let me see what might you, oh, yellow butterflies. Sometimes I find yellow butterflies. You can see those from quite a distance because they're so bright. And blue butterflies. There's some very teeny tiny blue butterflies. There was one in the garden the other day. Quite often though, you will see brown butterflies. Brown butterflies. These ones are very clever. They look like they've got very tatty wings, but when they fold up and they're sitting on a branch, they look just like a leaf. And that is called camouflage. And yesterday, yesterday, I saw, let me show you what butterfly I saw. Let me see. Where is it? Yesterday, I saw this butterfly called an orange tip because it has orange tips and that's the one I saw yesterday when I was looking at all the plants and things around me and it was flying around now I'm going to show you something very clever that you can do if you have some paper and some paint then you can do this really easily and it's how you can make your own butterfly with symmetrical wings, just like a real butterfly. Would you like to do that? Come with me and I'll show you. Right, are we ready? So you need a piece of paper, which you need to fold in half. Like this. Okay. And then you're only going to paint on one half of your paper. So... I'm going to put a little body for my caterpillar down here. There's half of his body. Okay, and I'm going to give him one antennae and an eye. Whoop, there we are. Just one half. And then I'm going to use my fingers, I think, for the next bit. You ready? I'm going to make a wing did it, did it, did it, with my fingers because I like getting messy. And some green, make big butterfly wings, big butterfly wings, lots of different colours, lots of paint in there. What colours are you going to use? You could use yellow, yellow's nice and bright. Maybe I should have put some yellow on, that would have been nice. Didn't think to put yellow. Orange maybe. There we go. There we are make some swirls Woo. then this is the magic bit okay when you've done half your butterfly you fold it over and you rub very carefully around like this where the eyeball is like this and where the tail is where the butterfly's head is so we squish, squish, squish it all together. And this is where the magic happens. You ready to see your butterfly? Ready to see your butterfly? Ta-da! And there is your butterfly. With two antennae, one big body down the middle, and identical symmetrical wings. How about that? Why don't you see if you've got any paint at home and some paper? And maybe you can make your own butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed story time. I know Caterpillar has enjoyed story time. Haven't you, Caterpillar? He has. Yes. So, Caterpillar and I are going to say goodbye now. We hope that you've had a lovely time listening to our story. And we hope you'll get to paint some of those lovely butterfly wings. Because Caterpillar here 
would like to possibly try some of your butterfly wings. So if you do paint any butterfly wings, could you please send a picture and then he can decide whether or not he wants to use your wings so he can fly? Because those fairy wings were a bit small for him. So maybe if you send some pictures, get your mummy or mama or daddy or whoever is looking after you to send the pictures to me, then he might choose your wings and say, I want those, I want those to help me fly. What do you think? Right, say goodbye, Caterpillar. Bye. We'll see you all next week.